So remember our apps are the applications, the um, functions on the non-real-time architecture. X apps are in the near real-time architecture. So we can compare the two as shown on the table. So non-real-time uh, non real RIC applications are tasks that require greater than one second of latency. And oftentimes, the R apps are independent of the non-real-time RIC. So they are just on the same uh, SMO. Uh, these are value-added microservices to support and facilitate RAN optimization operations, also policy guidance, guidance as mentioned earlier, enrichment information, configuration management, data analytics. So more on tasks that are not real-time, so it may take longer time. Okay, so any does any application designed to run on um, near real time RIC that would be in the X apps. Okay, so uh, examples of our apps would be traffic forecasting, AI, and machine learning models. But on the other hand, X apps are for applications tasks that require less than one second of latency, and this is independent of the near real time RIC, but is it is on the near real time RIC. But not um, the X apps may be different uh, per mobile network operator, depending on what they want to accomplish. These microservices can be used to perform radio resource management uh, through interfaces and service models. Um, maybe any model trained by our apps may be um, maybe uh, relayed to the non to the near real time RIC, and then the near real time RIC will uh, operate that one. Some examples of X apps would be for scheduling, network slicing, and so on, or monitoring. Here are other uh, this other examples for our apps. Uh, we can have our apps that are signal predictors. Maybe you need to find out you know, where will be the where will be the location of UE. You know, why do we need to predict the location so that we can um, prepare any handoff you know, if necessary? Another one is this one, our app U, cell utilization predictor, to predict the cell utilization over time and maybe understand whether there's um there's a possibility of overloading that cell site or maybe underutilizing that cell cell site. Okay, the last one is the R app Q, measure the uh, measurements of the UERF signal to predict later the the capacity utilization and somehow look at the quality of experience of a user. So these are just some examples. Of course, there are so many more, not just this three. This is where the uh, flexibility, freedom of the service providers will come into play. So even though open, even though the hardware in and interfaces are open, the design of the software components may now be uh, more competitive. Okay, X app use cases on the other hand, now, this can be any automated network optimizations, um, user use case specific RAN optimization, or any intro innovation in the RAN, like measurement, um, neighbor relation, admission control, you know, or maybe if you, uh, it's not only just 5G, you know, even the virtualized function of 2G, 3G, and so on. No? So, Parallel wireless uh, prepared no? the virtualized network functions or X apps for the uh, other um, radio access technology. So now it's not just for the 5G. No? Okay, so X apps in general can be for live network data collection, uh, testing the RAN, and so on. Okay.